Hey there, it's the Neck Gear Business Break. We're on episode five, and I'm back here with Kyle. Hey. Last week we went over the ReadyNAS 4360, a new product, but we also have some new software features as well, right Kyle? That's right, we got the uh, 6.7 is coming out with the uh, 60 Bay, and it's uh, providing some additional flux rate volume configuration options. All right, well let's show them what we got then. All right, let's take a look. Cool. So today I wanted to, uh, before we go into the configuration, I wanted to briefly go over the volume configurations. All of our units are configured with X-RAID. X-RAID is uh, configured to give you the most capacity with all of our units. The 60 bay is configured with um, flex RAID. We default with the RAID 60 on four RAID groups. So it'll be 15 um, drives per RAID group if you have 60 drives installed. So all the uh, options that we're going to see today are going to be what we have available in FlexRaid. So we'll go ahead and go into the configuration for FlexRaid. No, we don't have the option for X-RAID in the top right because we're in the 60 bay. And I'm going to go ahead and select all the drive, um, not all the drives, I'm going to select 18 drives here for a new volume, just to go over the new volume configuration of FlexRaid. Call this one data. This gives you a recommended amount of uh, uh, the recommended volume configuration. So in this one, we try to make sure that we lean on the side of uh, reliability on the larger amount of um, drive selected. So we have an option for quotas. Um, if you don't need quotas, um, we don't need to keep them enabled. Um, it helps um, lower the overhead if you don't need any quotas to uh, keep it disabled. And we also have um, encryption in case you need a volume that's encrypted, just like before in FlexRaid. Now we have a RAID 60 configured with the two different RAID groups that we configured with the default volume configuration and the volume creation management. So to expand a RAID 5 um, volume, uh, before, you had to switch between X-RAID and it would expand the volume and then you would come back to FlexRAID and then you would have an expanded volume. Um, so that was option one. Option two, you were able to select a couple disks and then it would ask you what kind of RAID you would like, which is kind of like a, a RAID group. And so you would lose a little bit of uh, redundancy, um, you, not redundancy, but you'd lose a little bit of capacity just doing expansion in FlexRAID. So we've added just expand. No RAID group, just expand. So you're able to expand the volume without um, requiring the switch between X-RAID and FlexRAID. You're able to have a five disc grade five without any other RAID groups. The other type of expansion is the RAID group expansion. It's similar to what we had in FlexRAID, but we've enhanced it a little bit. So we'll do a add group. So add group is going to provide you an option for RAID 5 and RAID 6 to give you an option to do a RAID 50 or a RAID 60. So the first option, which we would recommend, is a RAID, a RAID 50 or a stripe. Um, in this case, um, we would require you to have the same amount of disks, um, and it will also improve in performance. If you would like to have uh, flexible options, if you wanted to select four disks later, um, you can concatenate the volume and you'll get about the same amount of disks. So you'll have a little bit more flexibility with no in improvement to performance. So let's say you have a RAID 5 that's concatenated to other volumes. So in this one it's a RAID 5, it has multiple RAID groups, and they're all the same size. So if you would like to have improvement in performance, um, you can convert that to a RAID 50. So to do that, you'll go to Settings, and you'll go to RAID, and you're able to switch from concatenated to RAID 0 for the RAID groups to make it a RAID 50. So we'll go ahead and switch it to RAID 0 for RAID 50. Now you can see that it's a RAID 50. And the graph, you can also see that it's a little bit more balanced between uh, performance and capacity. So that wraps up for uh, what we 
have available for the uh, flux rate configuration. Now we know that we have a little bit more um, options available to volume configuration, as well as uh, some, some guidelines on the, uh, the volume configuration of your choice. And we provide additional uh, performance options as well as uh, flexibility for your, your volume needs. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming through and helping me out again, Kyle. Yeah, great. Thank you, Willie. All right. Make sure to tune in next week for the next Netgear Business Break. Goodbye.